Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. Today we're going to be studying folic acid pathway. And before I continue, I would like to share with you John 8 32 and says that and you will know the and we, you will know the truth, and the truth will will set you free. Amen. So that means that truth equal free okay so now we are going to see folic acid and before it is important that we know that okay so folic acid folic acid pathway so basically it is easy to because we're going to start with folic acid yeah there we go so we're going to start with folic acid then folic acids need to go to a place and needs to go to a place that is called dehydrofolate okay so I will write here um, yeah here is a DHF is equal to dehydrofolate oh, I didn't want to do that dehydrofolate okay so then the other one as, as, as we're going to say I'm going to just keep uh, saying okay so but you need an enzyme for sure and this enzyme is called how do you think it's called it's called dehydrofolate reductase so it's called DHF for dehydrofolate reductase got it so now you have your folic acid, you have your go to the hydrofolate to using the hydrofolate reductase. Then the this then this dehydrofolate needs to go to be tetrahydrofolate. Oops, sorry, it should be black. Needs to go to be tetrahydrofolate, which is here tetrahydrofolate. okay now which enzyme do you think that we're going to use there you're right so dehydrofolate reductase reductase so that means that we have the same enzyme basically giving you the half of the pathway now this tetrahydrofolate this tetrahydrofolate can come back to be dehydrofolate it's like a cycle but i'm asking you what kind of enzyme uh, don't say that it's the same because now it's different and this enzyme is called thymidylate site i mean synthase thy me delayed synthase so time the synthase time the synthase is the enzyme that is responsible to now looks like an N to convert your tetrahydrofolate to your dehydrofolate okay now this tetrahydrofolate has another way to go and we will see what you want to go right now okay so tetrahydrofolate can go to one carbon donors okay so one carbon donors got it but this one carbon donors needs to go to three places let's just go so go to how many places three so go one here the first one okay so let's just do it uh, let's see yeah so how many places they need to go to three places one two three places okay so need to go to Thymidylic acid. Thymidylic 
That's it. Needs to go to um, amino acid synthesis. I'm going to abbreviate amino acid synthesis. So remember here, A, A is amino acids. And needs to go to one more place, which is pure rings. Okay? But... The thing is that doesn't stop here. Thymidylic acid can go to one more place, and this place is called DNA. Okay, and what about amino acid synthesis? Stop there, doesn't go to any place. But what about pure rings? Pure rings go to two places. One is a uh, purine go to DNA and RNA. Got it? Yeah. So basically, this is the folic acid pathway. Now, I will copy this and to to see where it's going to be black, okay? Okay, so yeah, there we go. Now, we, have, we still have the same diagram, but now we need few drugs, and one of those drugs is called methotrexate. Um, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, so one of those drugs is methotrexate, and methotrex is going to block methotrexate. There we go. Methotrex is going to block here the hydrofolic reductase. Okay? It's going to block there. Okay? Now, there is another drug which is called 5 fluorouracil, and I'm going to add here, which is abbreviated 5FU, 5FU, and 5FU stand for. 5 fluorouracil, 5 fluorouracil. Okay, and then the, this drug 5 fluorouracil is going to block another one and it's called this one. Time it is, um, time it is, time it is synthase, okay. There we go. So that means that now you know if we give to methotrex and we give five fluorouracil, so you cannot go to to the donor carbon. You know you cannot go to them uh, the methylic acid. So that means that you cannot go to DNA. So that means that you cannot make amino acid synthesis. So that means that you cannot go to purines, neither DNA and RNA through the purines. Got it. So all of those things is going to be affected. Okay, so so when do we use methotrexy, for example? You see here, methotrexy use. Uh, I mean, um, at least uh, um, now we can. Uh, it, 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 um, if the patient has this, is the drug of choice for a non surgical treatment of an early on rupture on rupture what ectopic pregnancy okay topic pregnancy 
Okay, so so that uh, for now is okay with methotrexy. So we will learn more things anytime. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and may God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you.